somewhere while while we're playing. All right, let's do it. So this is Chocolate Moon, Grull Chonky Moon, or I think Thick Grull might be my favorite of the three names we were just uh, pitching there. We'll workshop it more later. So this is a very strangely successful deck in Modron. Um, focusing around the 1-3 skip on mana and cheesing out our unfair opponents. Is that a skate or die reference? No, it was not, but I wish it was. Um, so this deck is focused around playing one man accelerators, Arbor Elf, Noble Hierarch, and Utopia Sprawl, and hopping from one to three on the curve and playing things like Blood Moon, which can lock some decks in modern entirely out of being able to cast their spells. Things like Pillage, which destroys target artifact or land. We could destroy their land and put them back to zero lands right at the beginning of the game. Or we could just resolve a turn two Tireless Tracker. This is the least, uh, sort of... Uh, I don't know, devastating play, but in terms of fair matchups and just generally speaking, it is very high value. Um, then we could also play the Tireless Tracker on turn three and then play a land afterwards. Uh, if it's fetch land, we get two clues. We are playing eight fetch lands in this deck. Uh, sorry, nine fetch lands in this deck. So decent amount of clue generation we can get there. Then on the four drop slot, we have incredibly powerful aggressive threats in Questing Beast, which is a 4-4 Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste, and if I keep reading, we'll be here all night. Uh, and then Bloodbraid Elf just has Haste and Cascade. Very simple, as long as you don't read the reminder text on Cascade. We're also playing four copies of Glory Banger. Get in there, smash them dead. And three copies of Inferno Titan all the way at the top here. We're just going to play a fair, legitimate Inferno Titan. Screw Valak at the Molten Pinnacle. We're just going to do it old school with Inferno Titan. For anyone who's forgotten what this is, this is which is totally reasonable, uh, it's a six mana, six six. It has fire breathing, classic, actual, factual fire breathing instead of any kind of keyword. Uh, if it was printed nowadays, it'd probably have Menace, but we got fire breathing, and that's actually okay in this deck. And when it comes into play or attacks... Uh, you deal three damage divided as you choose among one, two, or three targets. And then we just have some of the best red and green mid-range cards on our sideboard. We got some stone rains for matchups where we want to go denser on L land destruction. Tormod's Crypt and Relic of Progenitus against Graveyard decks. Thrag Tusk against in things like Burn, Nissel Vital Force, and Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Uh, Obstinate at Baloth, all sorts of good stuff that are sort of mid-rangey. Collector Oof against Urza and his ilk. And Flame Slash, also good against Urza, but good against a wide variety of other creature-based decks. So let's hop into a league. This is a favorite of the Faithless Brewing podcast. Those guys just love slamming red and green creatures in the modern format and smashing people dead. I think this was a list I got from the PTQ, and I really like... The four copies of Tireless Tracker. I've always wanted to play them in a deck. So let's see how we can do with this one. So I finally, for the first time in a while, I played a brew on stream just now. Not an actual brew. It was based on a deck we played against the other night. But the Is It Bizarre Ox 1 deck was not... Not tried, tested, and true, but this one is a little bit more so. All right, and so I'm over here, so let's add... Sorry, folks. Just uh, add new source. Grow or die. Skadoosh. I'm going to throw a little little grill icon in our corner somewhere. I can make it smaller, right? Yeah. It's going to get real pixely in a second. Won the die roll, good place to start, and we're against David Snake. We have no lands, so we got a banging Hearthstone hand, a reasonable poker hand. We got two of a kind here. No, we got three three pairs. Three pairs, but uh, that's not going to do it. This has no acceleration into the pillage. Our opponent stuck their seven. Unfortunately, we're going to five. This is... The best hand we've hit so far, it is god-awful, but I guess I'm keeping it. 
So <laughs> this is this is this is the night we've been having here. So I'm gonna ditch pillage and blood braid elf and keep the rest of these and pray that this is somehow good enough. Almost worth just scooping up and going to game two. No straight had to cut all the twos. Yeah, dog. It was rough. Don't dismember me, bro, brosette, brosephine. Jesus. All right. Wow. Right into this member. Well, at least we know what we're up against. No straight had to cut all the twos. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get a straight in this deck. I think you can go... Yeah, actually, no, you can't. All right, so we just get Hierarch here. It sucks. We get to crack in for one, maybe. Do they play some kind of Eldrazi Sneck? I guess with the Hierarch, we're safe from them casting Warping Whale there to make a 1-1 blocker. So we do have three mana here, but we don't have any red. They have main deck Relic of Progenitus. What is going on in this format? I really hope I draw red. That's not a red. Tireless Tracker doesn't really do anything here. But I th think I'm supposed to fire it off in case I draw the land. Good lord. At least they don't know we're playing multiple colors. I mean, you know, that's something. Oh, it's Green Tron! With main deck dismember and... Oh, the relic makes it. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. But now they have eight mana, so we're probably just... Just to, oh no, they played the forest this turn, so they don't get to do it this turn. So maybe we draw a red source and go red source blood moon. It clocks at least. It does. We get two clues here into a blood moon, so like this could be worse. Okay, so gonna shock a stomping ground. I guess it doesn't matter because I'm immediately gonna blood moon. I fetched with foothills. We do have a mountain. So let's get it. Trigger. So. It doesn't really matter how I do this, so I'm not going to futz around too much with it. Get him. All right. And then I'm going to play the Arbor Elf so that I have more mana for next turn. Could shoot me in the foot if they somehow get Ugin into play, I think. But I don't... And then next turn we're attacking for four, five, six, and then we bolt them, so we're we're almost on lethal. If we draw a land, we can kill them, right? I think so. So do they have main deck Thrag Tusk? Please no. Oh my god. Okay. So we have a ton of mana here. So my Tireless Tracker can be bigger than the Thrag Tusk. It's definitely going to be bigger than the Beast. So first step, play Sprawl on the land. Choose red. Crack a clue. See where that gets me. Land is fine. Play my mountain, get a clue. Untap my land. Tap my land, get a clue. Still don't, and now I don't have enough for Glory Banger if I picked it up. Pillage is great, get to cut them off of green. So untap this Pillage Bolt Swing. Pretty sure that's where we're at. Sure to spend the green there. So the reason we're bolting the Thrag Tusk is it's still big enough to kill my Tireless Tracker, but this gives them a 3-3 Beast, and the Beast is not big enough. So cracking in for six here. Let's get him. Let's just get him dead. Come on now. Come on now. Just get in there and get him. Yep, that's really good. They can't pop it yet, but it's going to kill my blood moon. Oh, well, um, that that uh, that kills the O-Stone. So, uh, you remember how the last deck didn't want us to win? 
This deck wants me to win. Like, not a little. Good golly. I, I don't... I, I don't know if I've ever been this lucky with a deck before, but I'm gonna I'm take it. Let's go stone. And then I can make three mana. That's not relevant. So we crack in for eight. And then next turn we kill them pretty much through anything. All right. Did we win on the mold of five? And like... Not just a multi five, but a multi five that was super medium. We did. All right, wreck green Tron. Get him dead. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, so stone rain seems good. And I don't think there's anything else we need to bring in. This is basically the god matchup. This is exactly what we want to see when we register this deck. I'm not sure what we're supposed to be cutting. Maybe. A Titan and a Questing Beast. Oh, Questing Beast seems good. It's 4-4 four, four with haste. Oh, Bolts are not great here. That makes sense. Little bit of reach is not as good as the rest of the stuff this deck is doing. Suppose we could play something like Chandra Torture Defiance. That doesn't seem great. Nissa is like a 5-5 five, five with haste. Maybe we're supposed to bring in the Nissa and the Chandra and cut down all the Bolts. Does that make sense? How good is Oof? Oof's probably okay. That's that's a that's a good choice. It's probably better than Chandra. I think Nissa's pretty good because it's just like, hey, here's a five-five smack you. Chandra's not quite as good as that. Chandra has acceleration though. I don't want to cut any of my acceleration. Tireless Tracker seemed real good there. No, I no, Oof is Oof is good. Oof is definitely like if it comes down on turn two and they have like expedition map and some chromatic stars and spheres, it can definitely seriously mess up their 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 hand. Which I think they're still playing spheres and stars. Hits O Stone too. Yep. That's, yes, it absolutely does. Uh, it also means their Worm Coil can't activate any activated abilities. So that's worth thinking about. Always got to consider the Worm Coil engine, your favorite Titan. I know Karn, Sion, or Karn the Great Creator is actually your favorite Titan, but I was just shortcutting things. I think we're good here. I wonder if they have Thought Not Seer. I doubt it. That's been that's some old technology. It's an older meme, but it checks out. All right, uh, we got turn two pillage, so that's a keeper. Turn two pillage, hopefully turn three blood braid elf. Could flip us a blood moon. They mold a five, so they're gonna win. Is that what they're saying? I think that's what they said. Let me play arbor elf on one. That's a sign of weakness. Because we want to draw another land. And we got Stone Rain into Pillage here, so should be in good shape. I just have to make sure that I fetch... <sighs> okay. I just have to make sure that I fetch... Crap, we're not going to be able to play the Pillage right now. Okay. We do have Stone Rain into... Stone Rain and then Blood Braid Elf. I think it's important that we play the Stone Rain first. Unless, of course, they just... Wow. They just natural Tron, huh? All right. Well, I guess that could happen. If they're sacking for green here, that's really good news. Thrag Tusk wouldn't be too bad. Ancient Stirrings. That's a little scary. But they're down to six mana for this turn. I guess... Oh, Expedition Map? Sure. O stone. Well, crap. Actually, O stone doesn't really do that much on my on this board. Unfortunately, they didn't. The way they were tapping their mana, they weren't forced to um, pop the map here, which would have been really good for us. I think. I think I want to kill 
their tower with a stone rain. Pretty sure that's what I want to do. I think, I think we stone rain their tower here. Then they have to fetch another tower. They only have one card in hand. If there was a better payoff than O-Stone, they probably would have played it. That means next turn I get to Blood Braid. Hopefully not flip a Blood Moon. Because then they can pool the mana and... yeah. I think we go Stone Rain, your tower. Because they're going to respond by fetching, and then we crack in for one. Because Hierarch is the sickness. <laughs> definitely, Noble Hierarch is definitely a big fan of Disturbed, by the way. Totally, 100%. Would love to top deck Collector Oof. Sprawl really sucks here. Although it does mean I get to play Pillage, so maybe it doesn't suck that badly. So red. Crap, I should have done that after combat. Well, it's okay. I'm going to kill another tower here. Yeah. If you're killing lands, killing the tower is right. I don't think it was worth casting Blood Braid, because if Blood Braid flips something like Blood Moon, they just pool mana, and then they O-stone me. So it's like double bad. I, I don't I don't think that, that would be that would be a good play. Okay, so we really want to draw land here. Tracker is still okay. Hopefully we pick up a land for next turn. They're being kind of unlucky. If they're hitting a bunch of payoffs here, that's great for me. Another O-Stone. Sure. Without Tron, that's not too bad. I really wish that was a land, but I'll take it. So this is going to go red. And then next turn I get to Blood Braid, and they need two more lands to be able to pop this O-Stone. So. Oh, uh, on that turn... Yeah, I'd, I guess it was too too high risk for too risky for my blood. I guess is the is what I would say to that. Cascade. Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Holy crap! It's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. So just just dismantling Tron here with red green mid range, and they scoop it out. I don't know, I felt like with the, the Blood Braid Elf, there was a decent chance we hit like a, a Mana Dork or um, like a Blood Moon or something. Oh no, I guess in the Blood Moon would have been okay on that turn. Is that, is there, was, was there a turn where I could do that? Was there a turn where I could play Blood, Blood Braid Elf and they weren't able to pop the O-Stone? Maybe there was. Maybe I screwed up. Anyway, we won... Chonked to the grave. Yeah, they were chonked to the grave. We chonked them good. Gruel. Thick Gruel. Th thick Gruel is still my favorite. It was the turn you attacked with Hierarch. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it was all right there. I'd have to look back at it. Okay, so this is pretty decent. Unfortunately, we have to fire off two fetch lands before we get this tireless tracker, but we do get turn two tracker into turn three blood, blood braid. So depending on the deck we're against, this can be very, very good. Forest. Utopia Sprawl. Oh, God. Oh, no, I have snow covered forest over here. Never mind. Never mind. Oh. Oh, I guess we could just draw the nuts. What do you... Do you guys... Do you guys think we should just draw the nuts? I think we should just draw the nuts. What do you think? Is that a good plan? I don't know. Might get stone rained here. Let's see what happens. Don't do it. Have a heart. Magus of the Moon. 
Well, that's actually somewhat frustrating because it means I only have three mana this turn. I could bolt the Magus, play Sprawl, untap, and then I have two mana, which doesn't do anything for me. So I, th I think play Wooded Foothills, Utopia Sprawl on Forest, untap it, and then play Tireless Tracker. I think that's the best thing we can do here. Yeah, because I don't have a second forest. That's the reason I can't can't go off here. So kind of punished for not fetching on turn one. Which is a weird place to be in, but there we are. Yeah, so put this on red. Untap that. Play tracker. This is more mana efficient. It has a... There's a probability of being blown out here. This is pillage on my... Yeah, that sucks. It's not too bad considering the rest of our hand, but that does suck. Okay. So we can bolt here, and then we have two mana, so I can crack a clue. That ain't not bad. I have to tap a fetch land for this, but whatever. I'm going to fetch a basic forest in case I draw another... In case I draw another Utopia Sprawl, I kind of want a basic for it. Which against th that deck is probably not all that relevant, but whatever. Did you name red or green? It didn't matter. Yeah, I named red just because of the chance of needing... Man, that is super unfortunate for my opponent. So opponent getting a little bit punished for their build. Because their build is playing like 8 moons, or, or at least more than 4. And ours is only playing 3. Questing Beast coming in out of the hand here. And good golly, that's an attack for 8. And Scrug 092 has had enough. In the mirror match, Clothus, God of Destiny, seems pretty fantastic. Chandra, Torch of Defiance, could be okay. Nissa, Vital Force, not bad. I do believe Blood Moon is less than ideal. And then what else do we want here? Probably Flame Slash. Because we can kill their Mana Dorks and kill their Payoffs. Thrag Tusk also could be good because this is kind of a mid-range fight. Yeah, Swag Tusk probably worth. Stone Rain. I don't think Land D is the angle on which we want to attack here. That said, it might go out two pillages up to Stone Rains because the double red could be difficult if they're pillaging us back. And what's not going to be great here? Probably Inferno Titan if we're going to have to fight up mana a bit. One Titan can go out and one... Oh, we need two more cuts. Maybe you don't need Flame Slash. I didn't see any threats out of their deck. That's the problem with that game is they didn't, they didn't get to go anywhere. I suppose we're on the draw here. All right. I'm going to bring in the Flame Slashes. I'm going to leave Nyssa out because double green and five seems a little speculative to try to get to. And then maybe one of the Glory Bringers, something like that. Feels feels like we should pull down if we're going to be on the defensive here. And we definitely want to keep our hand with, with respect to... Flame Slash is good for dorks. That's what I was thinking. Like, we're on the draw here, so we really want to have turn one interaction. And we could play a slower game here. I could even board out 
some hierarchs maybe or something like that and then just try to keep a land heavy hand not 100 percent sure i think i'm pretty happy with how i sideboarded clothis could just go all the way quite easily that's uh clothis is great roy pull up quote number one I'm surprised we didn't get any good quotes out of the Is It Hollow Ox deck. I think you need a space. I don't think I'm keeping this hand against them. Against a deck that could stone rain us, and this has no interaction. God bless the London Mulligan, this is great. All right, it's slow, but we have double interaction for dorks. I think we bought him the pillage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to know. I need to find out what this wooded foothills is because this should be in paper. This is this this is aggravating that this doesn't exist in paper. They didn't fire off a mana dork, and they're playing defensively, so they, they have a slow hand. I think that Clothis is great is just... I, I don't know. Roy and I did a vintage rotisserie draft, and Roy picked... He, Roy built red-green Ponza, basically, and he, he, like, third or fifth or seventh picks uh, Clothis. And it was everyone was just kind of like, What? What is happening? What? How is that a reasonable card to pick? I, I think Roy was just jealous of everyone else picking sweet Theros Beyond Death cards, and he wanted to have one too. All right. Tracker. Tracker's great here. I'm going to bolt that thing. I'm going to bolt that thing so freaking hard. All right, so I think I'm getting at least one forest. Okay, th this is going to be the mountain. The Misty is going to be the forest. Because we want to have um, want to have as many basics as possible in case they kept in Blood Moons. And I, looking at their lands, that seems to be the way they fished as well. That's a good draw. I think we go... Snow covered forest tracker. Just fire back with a tracker. Now I've got double green through a blood moon, so let's see what's up. What's going on? I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. I said, hey. The deck was very fun, but like, Clothis was like not, not a thing at all. Like, Clothis was no, no part of any success that you particularly had, I don't think. There's a lot of cards that would have been just fine in that slot. Okay, so our hand has gone from pretty okay to pretty bad, but we've got a decent density of high-power threats that can come in here. Blood Braid. Well, that's... Okay, that would have been unfortunate, but our Questing Beast just kind of blanks that nicely, so hooray. Play Stamping Grounds tapped, crack in for four, Questing Beast just going all the way. We're burying the lead, Iron Crag Feet. You are not wrong, friend. They wanted to group block, then they found out they're not allowed to. God bless you, Questing Beast. Sir Questerson just dealing out the vengeance here. Second Blood Braid into Sweltering Suns. That's amazing! That's amazing! And I have this bolt to take one of their, their Blood Braids off the table. The only way this could get better is if we top deck uh, Glory Banger. I was so ready to get it. All right. So apparently this deck likes me. Yeah, I think we, we, we could have 
uh, killed an Arbor Elf to keep them off of five mana, but like we don't know what payoffs they're playing necessarily, so... Kessig Wolf runs a thing here. So that means they can pump... They can pump an elf by one, two, three, and then, well, they could have pumped an elf by three and then blocked my questing beast, but they were more interested in blowing up one of my lands than living. So I got four mana if they want it. This, okay, they're, they're, they're doing the full four. This is Chandra Torch of Defiance. It's going to suck. Legion War Boss. Sure, that doesn't block me. But I do block it. Chomp. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Alright. Smash. Okay, I've, I've held the requisite number of lands for Tireless Tracker. Let's pass the turn. After how the last league went, we're due. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, if they attack with both, I'm not blocking either of these. I will take the four. And then if we draw... There's, there's lots of things we could draw here that would be great. Tracker's okay. Tracker not great, but okay. Play Misty, Trigger... Now, if I go to combat, they can pump one, two, three on the Arbor Elf and trade for my Questing Beast. So I'm not super interested in that. Let's crack a clue before we do anything, see what I draw. It's going to be another land. I guess Arbor Elf is not the end of the world. Let's see if I have another forest? I think I do. I do. Forest, trigger, play elf, and pass the turn. We got a bunch of card draws next turn. Draw to flame slasher bolt. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Things of that nature. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. So they drew a glory bringer before we did. Unfortunate. What are they killing? Tracker. Yeah. Can they? They can't block my questing beast now, though. They can untap. They can only untap forests. Okay, so we're going to seven here, and their glory banger is exerted. So that's a good draw. So we just kill them, right? Nice. Sick. Sick nasty. Get out of here, nerd. Scrug 092. All right, we smooshed him. All right, we're 2040 with this deck. Got him. And we are smoking through this league. Dave and uh, crew were definitely right about this deck. It, it goes quick, that's for sure. Thick Grohl meat, sick nasty. Thick nasty. All right, we got Arbor Elf into Pillage. And then Hierarch Glory Banger. I don't think we turn down turn two Pillage and Insurance. It's not the best hand, but it's it's damn fine. So I'm going to fetch a forest on one. There's uh, there's no way in which this hurts me. so And it um, gets us a forest out for if we draw Blood Moon. Catacombs. Are we about to see Fatal Push in our future? Oh, Thoughtseize would be bad. Stopping Grounds is not bad. Bolt? Oh, oh, it's this deck. All right, we should have a pretty good matchup against this deck, but having to shock the stomping rounds is less than great, but 
then putting them on zero mana is pretty good. So, all right, let's see if we just messed them up good. I mean, obviously we did, but like, let's see how good we messed them up. And then we have Bloodbraid next turn. Man, this deck is just ready to go. They had no play there. That is, and now we have Glory Banger mana and everything. Jesus. Let's just bang them. Bloodbraid, go in attack mode. Tireless Tracker, hell yeah. Aww. Jund them out, baby. Man, this deck is so good. I just want to go get another beer. If we finish the league before 11.30, what do you say, Roy? Do we fire it up again? We can finish three more matches in a half hour. Do we just roll it again? Let's see if we just go hit a 5-0. Zoo, Lightning Bolt, sure. Lightning Bolt's not gonna be good enough against my Glory Banger. Yeah, I'll take your two. Nice, nice. All right, oh my god! Oh! Roy, what do I do? There's value to be gained. Okay, so Glory Bringer doesn't literally kill them, so I think I'm supposed to play the Tireless Tracker in the Hierarch, and then crack them for four. I'm going to do it. I want to draw cards. Drawing cards is the best. Jesus Christ. This deck is just all, all, I'm all about it. I never knew I could have these kind of feelings for a deck besides the niv -Mizzet and Urza decks, but, uh, but here we are. I think I have to get another red source here and shock it, which kind of sucks. I didn't have to shock it, but... It's going to be fine. Okay, so it took took a little unnecessary damage there. I think we'll be okay, especially since I have redundant blockers, but... Yeah. Yeah. You're probably right, but I wanted to draw a bunch of cards. And that can't be wrong, Roy. Love can't be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm blocking here. For sure, I'm blocking with Arbor Elf. We've got double red, so we can top deck a land. Land the third. What do I got? Hidden Herbalist. Sure. That no revolt trigger. Sure. What? <laughs> but. <laughs> All right, whatever. Ah, oh, we get punished for uh, letting the uh, for letting the Arbor Elf die. And I guess I was attacking with multiple creatures this turn anyway, so wasn't a lot of value. So do we kill them here? Yeah, we just kill them here, right? Yeah, sick. Crack you for 10. I mean, they could have Path to Exile. Skadoosh. Dunk ya. Get out of here, nerd. They could have Path to Exile. They could have Path to Exile and a mess of bolts. So we, 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 we could die, technically speaking. All right, we got him. So Flame Slash, 10 out of 10 coming in here. We're on the draw, so I, th I think Pillage goes out on the draw, but I'm happy to keep Blood Moon. I think Clothis and Chandra come in here, and I think that's most of the things I want to do. Nissa is okay, but she's up at 5 Swaggy Tusk is probably real good. Cut an Inferno Titan for that because these games are going to be really tight. 
Life gain, life gain's probably good, but not weather the storm. Obstinate Bailoth is probably good too, especially on the draw. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I, I think I got there as you were sort of postulating on it. But I thank you as always for your contributions, Roy, because sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes that's not where I'm at, and sometimes I do need the input. So we just get a little more mid-rangey, a little bit less land destruction. I think on the play, I could go up a bunch of pillages and stone rains. Although we'll see what their post-board configuration looks like. Maybe they have more removal, maybe they have bolts, maybe they have... Well, path is obviously terrible against mana dorks, so... So we're mulling this god-awful hand, got it. Keeping this excellent hand. Got it. Uh, I think I'm bottoming... It's fetch land. This doesn't look great, but we've got a billion mana sources in our deck. We're probably going to draw what we need. Hold on a second. I need double green in theory. Don't need double red. So let's rock like this and see what happens. Good luck, Godspeed, opponent. Good luck, Godspeed. Okay. It doesn't seem like they're playing anything that heavily rewards them for hitting me early. But I think just firing off this bolt with a basic mountain means that whatever they play next turn, I get to flame slash that, plus put in the, um, the Noble Hierarch, and the turn after I could probably play Questing Beast. So just be a little proactive. Goblin Guide's okay. Goblin Guide's fine. That could draw me cards. Noble Hierarch on top. That's fine. I think we're playing Hierarch, and I think I'm not interacting with this Goblin Guide. I'm okay to draw another card potentially off of it. And Flame Slash should be reserved for more pertinent threats. That's fine. If they don't have a second land, this is great. Does make me smile because we cut the, uh, the land destruction. Okay, so with the fourth land... Sorry, with, with the... Mm, sorry. We already had the fourth land. No, we had the fourth land and then the fifth land off the top of the guy. Got it. I think I'm still happy to draw cards if the Goblin Guide is going to draw me cards. Especially with them being on one land. Clearly, we should have kept the Stone Reigns. Confirmation bias. Keep fetch, you need GG. If Hierarch dies, you're screwed. Nah, we good. BTE. Yep. All right, is there a Bushwhacker coming in my future? Yes, there is. So I'm pretty sure we're chumping here. So that we go, yeah, because I don't, it doesn't really affect the next turn too much. Oh, but then I can't Questing Beast and Flame Slash next turn. All right, I'm going to take the full amount of damage here so that I can play Flame Slash and Questing Beast next turn. Revealed Blood Moon on top? Well, that sucks. Just with this specific game state. So I need... I have the one red, so I can get an untapped forest, no problem. So we go one, two, three, four. Play. Get the quarterback in play. Shoot down... I guess the emissary probably doesn't matter which of those two. Crack in with Questing Beast, and away we go. Yeah. Yeah, I got there, Roy. I got there. So we're at six. Fairly easily dead, but... We could top deck Thragtus. We could top deck Obstinate Bailoth. We're definitely blocking here, even if they have a Lightning Bolt. Bloodbraid on top is excellent. So we'll leave, leave the Goblin Guide. What do you got? Pump spell? 
Oh, uh, Gore Clan Rampager, and we die. Yeah, yeah, that's legit. Okay. So, I think Blood Moon's out here. Stone Rain, Stone Rain, and Pillage in. I think that's the only change I want to make. Pretty happy with everything else. Yeah, just need to be a little bit more lucky. Gore Clan Rampager, that's that's something. Turn two tireless tracker. Turn three tireless tracker. Turn floor, turn four glory banger. I think that's gonna have to be good enough. Yeah, I think this is all right. It's not the best hand I could have against them, but there's a good chance they take mulligans. Though they're on the draw. Considered Gore Clam Rampager and a red green infect brew, and I'm still pondering the matter. Yeah, I mean, like we were talking about when I was playing against Infect earlier, the fact that they don't play any cards that give trample is like super significant. And if you want to punk people out with that deck, you could definitely play something like Gore Clam Rampager. The downside is plus four, plus four for. No, plus four, plus four for two mana is competitive, right? If you think of the other spells that you play. Like, that's on rate with some of the worst ones. Finds of Vastwood, etc. Glistener Elf is the matter reshaper of the Infect deck. You are not wrong. Oh, that hurts. Glistener Elf is the matter reshaper. Oh. No, I know it is. That's, that's what I'm saying. Gore Clan gives trample, and the Infect deck doesn't, doesn't have trample normally. Opponent taking a decent chunk of time on their mulligan here. La Lao Wubba. They've uh, this is that's the first game win anyone's gotten against us. Otherwise, we've been doing great. Do 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 Oh, there we go. That took a minute. All right, cool. Uh, so we brought in one pillage, so I do need double red on turn two potentially. Don't need double green till later. Yeah. So I'm gonna put that on red. See if we get paid off. See if they have their their uh, signature turn one Narnum Renegade. They kept seven, so there's a good chance. Wild Nakadal as a one one. Okay. I'm stone raining here, right? I thought you had 33, 33 viewers, then I noticed it was actually Aspiring Spike. Hey, I am almost as handsome as Aspiring Spike. All right, so we're, we're definitely stone raining, right? Yeah. There's there's no there's no way that we don't stone rain there. Because then next turn we get to play my first tracker with Stomping Grounds, get a clue. If they play Temple Garden here... Not Temple Garden. If they get... Stomping grounds here. I'm gonna be a little tilted, but okay. Not stomping grounds. What the hell am I thinking? Uh, Sacred Foundry. That's the one that they should have gotten there in order to maximize their damage. But obviously they needed to play the the wild and the cattle. So now we have the mana to play the glory bringer. So that's gonna be great. So this first tireless tracker is likely gonna trade for a wild and the cattle if I'm allowed to, which I'm very happy to do. Stone Rain, the basic. It it 
It actually didn't feel as good as that that emoji would suggest. I'm definitely blocking here. It hurts, but that means next turn I get to go stomping grounds, glory, glory banger, exert it, banger, and the cattle. So dragons banging cats, anarchy. Well, that's, that's a fine draw, huh? Do I just play this instead and then save the stamping grounds for the future? I think I do, right? Did this just stonewalls them so hard? No, I think I, I think I shock this and then kill their creature. Getting their creature off the board is like 10 out of 10. And they don't have white mana, so they can't have path. I guess they have double bolt. The double bolt not going at my face is pretty good. Yeah, Baloth would have been fine, but we're we're gonna we're gonna exert the banger. Uh, unless they have their like crazy nut draw next turn, we like they're just gonna play creatures that don't have haste here, and then our glory banger gets a turn to reset, and then it can bang again. All right, well I didn't Baloth them, so hopefully we don't get Triad Arbor. You poor muffin. Oh my god, that that's rough. All right, so this turn we're just gonna fire off a Bayloth by badly tapping mana. I could play a forest and crack a clue, but I'm addicted to value, so we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna hold it for the tireless tracker next turn. We're at 18 against an aggro deck. We have a glory banger online. Dryad Arbor. Now we have to win. Yeah, you've got a long history of hating glory or hating uh, Dryad Arbor. Yeah, we could have LD'd them by killing the, uh, LD'd them by killing their, uh, Dryad Arbor. All right, so 3-0. 3-0, no longer 3-0, 6-0, but. We did get there. Well, that was, the, the, the top decking the Stone Rain was just, just wonderful. This is this has been a blast. Just get him dead. Well, you know what? Let's just go trophy. Throw me the tunneling cat. Throw me e principe. Throw me the pen sword. Let's kill them all. Let's just get him dead with Grohl. It's appropriate that I've been shuffling a mono red deck since we started. With my wonderful altered wizard's lightning in there. Yeah, it's a pioneer deck that I put together for a tournament that I didn't end up going to. I, I told you about it on the day, and then I played the league the night before. We're against Crazy Baloth. All right, this hand is this hand has the potential for nuts. I'm gonna keep it, also the potential to get completely crushed, but we're gonna keep it and hope for the nuts. Turn one, snow covered plains astrolabe. Okay, well, the land draw was great. So we have turn two questing beast, turn three glory bringer in theory. So let's not get blown up. This is probably Breach. Getting a Stamping Grounds here. Could be Jeskai Control or something like that. Sprawl goes here. Put it on red. Tappa Tappa. Tappa Tappa, play Questing Beast, no Mana Leak. Do a Mana Leak me, bro? Omen of the Sea. That is that is not a Mana Leak at all. Super. Super duper. Worst case scenario, next turn we get to play Hierarch, Hierarch, and Beast them for six. Which ain't not bad. 
I wonder if they're playing Breach Combo with Omen of the Sea? That's definitely something they could be doing. Even Teferi here wouldn't be very good. It bounces my Questing Beast to play Questing Beast again and then attack them for four and kill the Teferi, so... Poor Lisa. Tappa, tappa, tappa. Seasoned Pyromancer. Boy, does that not block me at all. Oh, this is Sahili Cat. Got it. All right. Land? Yeah, all righty. So we're playing Glorybringer, but I'm pretty sure... Oh, do I have one mana left over? I mistapped, and now I can't change it. All right. Uh, I think we're playing a higher Glorybringer attack for eight. I could bolt them. Shoot, this could actually be a big deal. They can't combo me this turn. All right. So we're going to... I definitely severely screwed up there by um, sort of clicking through everything too quickly. I should have just held up the stomping grounds, but we're going to be fine. Oh, we're just going to attack them for an unblockable 8 here. And then this should put the nail in the coffin for next turn. So they go to 6. We have two 4 power attackers and a lightning bolt. So we should be fine. There's very, very few things that can get them out of this. Um, they can't combo. They don't have enough mana. Questing Beast seems really good against that deck. Because they play Teferis and um, Sahili usually. But uh, we just killed him dead. Sahili. Yeah, that, that... Okay. Oh, they're looking for Path. Path is not going to save them. Which they don't know, but... Yeah, and they scoop. Cool. So I'm pretty sure we're bringing in Stone Rains here. Seems good. Um... Nissa can put a haste creature into play. So that seems good. Uh, Collector Oof turns off. Astrolabe, but that's not particularly good. Chandra could kill a uh, Felidar Guardian that's in place, and that could be all right. Glorybringer does the same. So I kind of want to cut Inferno Titans, because those aren't super great here, and they're really expensive. They are good, though. And then maybe shave a Blood Moon against the Astrolabe deck. QB follows the theme of pushed green cards in the modern era. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I think something like this. So cutting the Titans and one Blood Moon. For Stone Rain, Nissa, Chandra. I think that's good. Lightning Bolt is definitely good because it interacts with their combo as long as they don't. How good is Blood Moon against them? I think it's okay, but I, I don't think I want to draw two. <laughs> Stone Rains are definitely better. I just don't... I don't. I would rather have the Blood Moon than the Infernal Titans, I think, most of the time. Infernal Titans are not that good against them cost six mana too so there's going to be games where i just draw it and it just clunks out whereas like blood moon might at least mess with their mana because they are a three color deck you know so they uh they definitely can get beat up by a blood moon there's certain hands they can have and and we've we've had it too right where you're playing a three color deck and you just don't draw an astrolabe in the top 20 cards of your deck and you're like oh my colors are awkward and then you get blood moon and you're like oh i'm dead super Crazy Bayloth. Crazy! The Bayloth be crazy. Hey man. I'm a member of the first church of the Astrolabe. It's a mighty church. Uh, this sand is pretty mediocre against that. They kept a 7. I think I'm mulling this. I think I want something better than that. This is not great, but I think we're keeping it. Uh, ship one of our many fetch lands. Yeah. So we're going turn 1, fetch, forest, hierarch, 
turn two, shock stomping rounds tracker, and then turn three, questing beast. I mean, it's something. Baloth, notably a beast without rage. Is it? Is that noticeable? Is that notable? Is that noteworthy? Should I click on that article, find out about the, the, the reachless beast? Skadoosh. Get him. What do you got, nerd? Path me, baby. Okay. So, Glory Banger is meh. Let's fire Tracker into their gaping maw of doom. If we draw more, one more card, we get to do stuff here. Mana Lake, sure. If we draw, sorry, if we draw another land, uh, we'll be able to play the Glory Bringer as well. That could go in the quotes, Roy. If we draw one more card, we can do stuff here. That's uh, it's not the worst quote. Please play Sahili. Please play Sahili. They played Sahili. Roy, they're really not going to enjoy my next turn. So I can go green or red here. Then I get double red in my lands. I don't think I care about having double red in my lands. I probably do. I have double red and double green then. Yeah, let's just get it on. And coming in out of the hand, it's Questing Beast. This bad man and Jamma is going to crack in for 5 damage, and that triggered ability is just going to gobble Shahili right up. Goodness gracious me. See you later, baby. We need Red Red for Glorybringer. Yep. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Uh, Pre-combat Blood Braid... See what's up, what's going on. I said, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pillage, sure. Let's take them off one of their mountain or one of their islands, I guess. Because they, they have infinite colors, but uh, taking them down on mana here seems really good. White path, sure. Path me, baby. This means my Blood Braid gets to attack for four anyway, and they're down a land in their combo deck, so. Seems good. And then we can Glory Bang next turn. And if we draw land, we get to Glory Bringer into Lightning Bolt. Oh my god, I killed their island in their Mystic Sanctuary deck. Totally called shot. Got him. Got him! Here's my Glory Bringer. Man, this deck just gets people so dead. Jesus. What is the deal? Oh, path. Alright, well. Guess we had that coming. Yeah, the all path hand over there. It's really frustrating that I didn't play the tracker earlier. So the next this turn we get to play Hierarch, crack in with Blood Braid for five, which might be lethal if they shock this. It will be. They have Felidar Guardian here. They do. They slide the Astrolabe, sure. So they are forced to chump block though. I don't need to I don't even need to play the Hierarch for that. Is there a way I can kill them? No. So. Force the block. Play Hierarch. Play Tracker for a second lethal threat. Play the Sprawl just for funsies? go. So Teferi doesn't save. They basically need a Wrath. They have five mana if they had a land drop, which would have gotten them to combo. Pyromancer. That is a lot of blockers. Potentially. Okay. Upkeep path again? Good golly. They got all the paths in their deck. And we draw the fetch land. That is so brutal. Alright. 
I think I'm keeping the Lightning Bolt in hand because they just played a fetch land. So they could just die at end of turn here if they're sloppy. So let's do that. I'm going to keep the fetch land in my hand in case of emergency. And by emergency, I mean drawing a tireless tracker. We break the glass. Triple block. Sure, I can attack with two next turn. Okay. It's not great, but they can't turn their Pyromancer into tokens. And the turn. Fetch. Do it. Do it. Do it. They didn't do it. They can't turn their Pyromancer into tokens without one more land. There it is. I can attack with a 2-3, though. So we'll Stone Rain... Oh, they, no, that doesn't produce mana. Cool. Got him. Sure. Stone Rain here. Then attack for two. They can make two tokens. Oh, shoot. I should have just killed them there. It's fine. It's going to be fine. They're tapping down for the last card in hand. Oh, it's to make the... Yeah, okay. We'll just kill them there. Dude. Bye, friend. Pew, 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 pew. Got him. All right. On the 4-0, baby. Stone Rain, their fetch. I don't think Stone Rain... So because they had two fetches in play and they wanted to use their Pyromancer, I think it's fine to Stone Rain something else and then when they fetch, you bolt them. Which I misplayed. But it kind of seems better to let them tap down for the, for the Pyromancer activation, because that's clearly where they were at. And even with the Pyromancer activation, they were in a really bad place, because I was going to attack with a 2-3 each turn. They got 2-1-1, one, one, so they, that just buys them two turns, and they had, like, no resources. Admittedly, they could have clawed back into that game, but, like, man, our curve was just nuts. They had all the paths, and it wasn't enough. It was close. Luckily, everything in this deck has haste. All right. Let's hit that 5-0, baby. You want to get nuts, Roy? Let's get nuts. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. Colomino with the sick Imara Tandris. All right, we won the die roll. That's awesome. Can I keep this hand? No, I cannot. Ship it. That's much better. So I think we're tossing this Inferno Titan. Colomino. Thick Grawl has sick curves. Who would have thought? Oh, my opponent's also really nice. It's going to be a shame when I kill the sh** out of them. Uh, they also mulligan. Cool. I think we're yeah we're pitching Titan here. It's just too much too early. Uh, cause we play Blood Moon, we're going fetch for basic forest. Uh, I could have held it. All right. Slight slight misplay there, but it's just an extra clue. Probably not gonna matter. Bloodstained Mire pass. Okay. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Man, this this okay, so compared to the last deck, this deck, this deck just freaking loves me. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I am okay with it. We haven't gotten turn one thought seized once, by the way, in our deck that has zero copies of Veil of Summer in the 75, but but God bless it, it's it's just delightful. This is delightful. <laughs> That's a good quote. That's a good quote. Uh, yes, you may fetch. Sorry. Should have F6 there. Fetch shock. Sure. Black red. What do you got? Croxa? Please, Croxa. I'll pitch this lightning bolt so fast. Oh, goodness. There was a world spine in, in there. Oh, God. I'm playing as Chris, Chris Martin, aren't I? Okay, so I can play Stomping Ground, Sprawl, and then have five mana here. So 
So we go sprawl here for red. We go two, untap, two, and then hopefully hit a blood moon or a pillage, please. Hey, buddy. All right. Uh, opponent still has access to all their colors, so actually that wasn't as good as I wanted, but that's okay. No, Roy, they played something much more frightening. They played Cathartic Reunion and showed me a world spine worm. We're against Chris Martin, and I'm terrified. For those in chat, for those on YouTube who do not get the reference, we have a wonderful friend named Chris Martin who always wrecks me with these super unfair cheap Crystal Brand into play decks. So, I always get wrecked by them, because I'm usually playing something very fair. Another Cathartic Reunion discarding Goryeo's Vengeance Swamp? No, they discard Swamp Cathartic. Okay. I don't know what this means. Land, Spirit Guide, something? They pass again. Okay. So... We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 here, so I, I think I'm supposed to just kill them. So crack the clue. So, all right, we're going to crack the clue first. Make the tracker bigger. If they have push, they can only kill my elf. We're cracking in for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I bolt them. I think Questing Beast locks this up. No, it but well, it kind of does. It locks it up if they're. I think I think Questing Beast locks this up because oh I don't have I don't have double green. Okay, I just screwed up. So I can't. Yeah. Whoops. So we pillage their red source, I guess. Attack for seven, and we have a bolt. All right, screwed it up. Should have been able to like guaranteed kill them because, uh, and I basically I just turned on their fatal push before combat. I'm punting because I was literally saying that the way they can't beat me is if I play the questing beast. So when I crack the clue, I tap the wrong mana. But so if we lose this game, it's entirely within my control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I already caught it. And then they have the mountain. We didn't get punished on that play. Do we get punished on this one? Maybe. Desperate Ritual, sure. Is this Breach? Haggle. So they discard World Spine Worm, sure. Haggle, okay. Discard. Oh, they're still looking for the Grizzle Brand, I guess? Didn't get it. They conceded. Whew. All right. So what I should have done that turn is when I cracked the clue, I should have tapped red, red off stomping ground and mountain and left up sprawl in case I drew something or I wanted to play something that had double green. But we, we got away with it. So if it's Grizzlebrand, we still win. Uh, not with Vengeance because then it would attack us for seven and then we would kill them next turn. Never mind. Okay, so Stone Rain, yes. Stone Rain, yes. Relic and Tormond's Crypt, yes. I think the Blood Moons are going out. Seems quite unimpressive against their spells that only take one colored mana and they have basic swamps. And... Boof, Weather, Bailoff, Thragtus, Nissa, Cl Oh, Clothis is probably okay here. And then I think the Titans can go out and I think we're happy there. Sorry, I was just working my way over. I think I, I think I hit everything that you wanted me to, Roy. I think Clothis is probably the worst thing that I'm boarding in, but it's pretty good. In the words of the great me, Clothis is great. Scroll deck is so thick. Man, are we one game away from a 5-0? I think we're one game away from a 5-0. Do 
Jesus Christ. This has been this has been good. This uh, helps balance out the the is it hollow ox? Is it ox force one? One game away from that thick burrito. That is that is a thick burrito. So eleven treasure chests, which is like twenty three USD, plus one hundred fifty play points, which is another fifteen USD. So it's like it's like forty USD in prizes. Uh, we're keeping the out of this one. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully they don't turn one me. I'm assuming their deck can do that. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a good draw. So, Stamping Ground, Shock It, play Arbor Elf, play Crypts. That's enough to retire on in this economy. It's damn close. No, it's at, but again, it's closer to forty, right? Because of the uh, the play points are worth uh, fifteen dollars worth of entries. So it's like it's like twenty three USD and fifteen dollars in store credit. Did they just pass the? No, that was okay. That was my turn. Okay, cool. New sound effects are messing with me. All right, please try to go off. Night Whisper. Sure. So am I pillaging here or playing Tireless Tracker? They just drew two cards, so it's reasonably likely they have more lands. So I think I want to get pressure into play before pillaging them. Yeah. This is going to give me a lot of cards to keep the pressure up and then probably grab more hate. Freaking love Tireless Tracker, by the way. I want this card to be the best it can be. I want to play it with Urza so badly. Anger. Yeah, Anger's pretty good. So I think we're on Pillage here. So I can't take them off of any of their colors, so I'll just take them off of having double, I guess. Hey man. Board wipes happen. We we haven't run into a single Wrath of God until this point. The Sahili deck got annihilated against us, so. There's only so much we can uh, hope for. Night's Whisper again. Woof. Deck card advantage. I guess they're playing very land light, so. But with eight cards, there is, like, with how many cards deep they've gotten to draw, there's a good chance they're going to be able to double combo. Well, that's a good draw. I do not need another green source here, but I will get it. I don't need more red. And coming out of the hand, it's Questing Beast just putting in an unbelievable amount of pressure here. The QB coming in off the bench and just smacking in there. Opponent is on a two-turn clock, though they don't know it. So let's see if they can get that combo. They haven't been able to pull it off yet. Goodness gracious, it's four mana. Shimming Spirit Guide into Through the Breach, perhaps. We take 15 off of World Spine Worm and then we die to the tokens. 
Desperate Ritual Shirt. Breach Shirt. Grizzle Daddy. I mean, that's also really bad. That's bold. I guess they're going to gain seven. Yeah, they're going to gain seven. This doesn't actually improve their position by much. No, well, they get to draw the... No. Oh! Oh, they are playing a bunch of shoals and stuff. I guess they should be, yeah. No, they're not there yet. They still get to attack. I hope they're aware of that. Another shoal. So they're almost entirely through their deck. I wish I had one red and the lightning bolt here because the next draw puts them to three. Yeah, if I had a lightning bolt there, they would die. Well, probably. They can have the other shoal in their hand already. So they can attack and then put their library to... Um, Wow, my brain. A nine? Yeah, I doubt we're getting another turn. That's fair. They haven't exiled a spirit guide yet either, so they can have a uh, lightning storm or something. Does Chris Barton play MTGO? I don't think so. All right, so they get their whole deck here if they want it. Although they're at a division of seven life, so they can't... So they can draw 14 here and then attack... And then draw another, and then deck themselves if they want to. So I'm just going to F6 from here on out. Uh, there's, like, no chance that my Tormont's Crypt has any input on this game anymore. Well, no. There's a there's some kind of crazy outside shot. They've exiled three World Spine Worms so far. So we're just going to have to hope in game three we can slam them for their decks inconsistent. They're going to combat. This bodes slightly well for our hero. I think that they, they definitely are going to be able to play Breach Worm against me next turn or Breach uh, Grizzlebrand again. They go to two cards in deck. So they have to have a way to kill me, right? I guess they want to play Breach Worm or something next turn. Because they go to one card in deck, they play Breach Worm, attack, and then the turn after that they have five or three five fives. Okay, here come the Spirit Guides into Lightning Storm. They do all four. Shoal? Okay. Ah, oh, Berberigmos. There it is. Okay. I did an F6. Uh, I only did it after after the point where they were doing that. So there is a situation in theory where Weather Storm could wreck them. But I don't think I want to go that direction. I think we just got to hope that they miss on variants again like that. I'm pretty happy with my setup here. Clothis can beat down reasonably fast, but maybe Chandra is better. Chandra ends games a little bit quicker. And we just have to play around. Um, Anger of the Gods a little bit more. Yeah, the, the weather the storm line doesn't 
doesn't line up against our or doesn't doesn't line up with our game plan. So on the play, pillage stone rain on turn two. Even without a threat, I'm gonna keep this. We have a high enough density of threats. I think we're gonna be okay. So let's get him dead. Except not. Deck has an endless number of payoffs, so all I gotta do is draw one. No bolt, no push, please. I asked nicely. Okay. We drew the sprawl that would have been completely nuts. Well, I guess... So, Hierarch is okay to play out here. It's less safe than most mana dorks, but... Man, if we get to turn two comboed, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt off a cliff. Please, no. Oh my god. Yep. Oh, this hurts. Oh my god, this is so painful. Why didn't you shock and sprawl? Because it... Yeah, it... it uh, I just... I was facing down this situation, and I didn't think about it. All right. We're this close to the 5-0, right? This close! They could still fizzle, but even if they do, they're not on too low resources. They're going to have seven cards at hand at worst. So, yeah. No, you were right. We should have shocked and played Utopia Sprawl. Our life total generally doesn't matter, and we could have had uh, three, four, five mana next turn. Again, we don't have anything to play for five mana in our hand, but then if we drew Glorybringer, it would have been good, but then I'm still pretty sure I want to pillage them instead of casting Glorybringer. So, they had Spirit Guides, Desperate Ritual, put a worm into play, and hit me for 22. Pretty sure that's what's about to happen here. Yeah. Damn it. We were so, so close. All right. Well, ah, that's what you get when you let your heart win. This has Trample? Yeah. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? So one game away from the 5-0. Yeah, I mean, opponent was nice. Deck was super great. So you know what? Uh, that was absolutely not true in this situation. Sometimes you get modern. So on the 4-1, you know what? Not the end of the world. Got myself another qualifier point. So we're up to... I already spent 40. We're up to 28. Hopefully I can get another 12 before this weekend. But, uh, yeah, this deck was something. Inferno Titan never got cast in the entire league. I'm sure it is pretty good when it does. Uh, I don't know if I was always right to be cutting them, and I definitely haven't. Again, I don't have a lot of reps with this deck. Questing Beast never clunked up. We never drew multiple Questing Beasts, so maybe three is the right number. I think maybe two and four Blood Braid Elves might be something that I would be interested in, although it is really, really good. Um, and yeah, so 4 1, we were this close to the 5 0, but that's how a lot of leagues go. Sometimes you hit a 2 3 and you were close to a 5 0. All the, all the matches that you lost were very close. This is an incredible deck. Very, very st strong. Very, very powerful. It's got good game against a lot of the. Uh, meta decks and and even if your opponent is playing something off meta you've got a reasonable game plan against them because there's a lot of nonsense that just folds to turn two blood moon or turn two pillage uh turn two blood braid elf into pillage or questing beast is completely nuts sometimes you get that one four skip so it's gross 
Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I know it was a bit of a shorter stream than usual, but we played a bunch of linear decks, and that's how she goes. Uh, I will be back tomorrow from 8 till late again, playing a mess of usually modern decks. So thanks, everyone, for hanging out who did. I want to thank David Robertson for checking the stream out. Awesome guy. He's part of the Faithless Brewing podcast. Those people are amazing. They put together wonderful decks based on cards that they choose from the modern and pioneer formats and then try to make up neat decks. This is one of their babies in a certain way. Although they had Kiora in most of their versions. Oh, you're still around. Well, thanks for being here, Dave. And uh, thanks for anyone who checks this out on YouTube. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, check out my other videos, leave a comment if you like, and uh, let me know if there's any modern decks you want to see, because we got through a lot of different versions of Urza, um, a lot of different Uro decks, and then sometimes we just pick linear decks and we try to get them dead. Um, check out the Is It deck from tonight, the Is It Bizarre Hollow Ox. It was messed up. But it was uh, certainly some something. And uh, everyone have yourself a great night. Stay healthy. St stay happy. Take care of your families. Take care of yourself. Practice proper social distancing. We are still in this COVID-19 thing. And uh, the only way to prevent it from getting worse is by taking the steps that we all need to. Be proactive. Don't get complacent. Uh, it can come back in, even in areas where you think it's gone. So... You know what? Just take those good social measures and you'll be able to tell your kids and your grandkids that you guys were doing the right thing when this all went down and it's in the history books. Uh, until next time, see you then.